So, we're on an airship, the Celestial Rose. It's larger than the last one, and not an obvious conversion of an ocean ship, but still styled after one. This one is also not seaworthy. Our quarters are better, but not by much. At least we have a window this time. It's about 90 feet from stern to stern, 20 feet wide. I feel it's slower than the other one. Maybe because it's bigger. This one is leaving a magical green fire trail behind it as well. Marcus met us on the docks in disguise, and we boarded. No issues leaving. While the people of Winterfield and Brightly thought Aelin was an isolationist city, it isn't. They do open trade, just not in that direction, and it's mainly exports going out and the occasional adventurer coming in. So, the captain of this boat is an adventurous... I think they call them shifters? Beast person. Very educated. He clearly wants to be an adventurer, but he's stuck in the family business. He's a glorified truck driver. On a motherfucking airship. Maybe if I were in his shoes, I could empathize with him more. Or, you know, mind rape but I don't want to mess up the captain. The rest of the motley crew is a mix of dock workers and crate stackers, a wizard, and their airship repair artificer. There are other passengers, a family of excitable halflings. I haven't seen too many of them around, and they creep me out. 